Welcome back, everyone, to another reaction video here on my channel, Sam and Sis. Thank you so much, you beautiful, lovely, gorgeous individuals out there. And on today's reaction video, we're going to be reacting to another death battle. It's the Battle of the Dogs, Scooby-Doo versus Courage the Coward Dog. Now, I think by the name, you pretty much assume that Scooby's going to win, but I don't know. Courage has some tricks up his sleeves. I think he might give Scooby a run for his money. I'm, I'm just saying here. I can't, I can't wait to watch this one. I love these little weird, quirky little death battles that they do. It's out of the box, out of nowhere. I wouldn't have thought of it myself, but it's, it should be fun. I'm excited to see it. I hope you guys watch and have fun with it as well. If you guys want to follow me on all my social medias, all my handles will be in the description for you as well. If you want to leave a comment about the video, about who won, who lost, did they get it right, did they get it wrong, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, you beautiful, lovely, gorgeous individuals out there, hit like, hit subscribe to my channel, Sam and see us for more fun reactions like this one here. And with all that being said, let's get into it. Here we go, a new, de new death battle. Scooby-Doo, mm -hmm. the miraculous mutt from Mystery Incorporated. Courage, the cowardly dog straight out of nowhere. Came Literally out of nowhere. Harris, man's best friend. A parts dog. unknown. No animal companion has stood by humanity's side as long or as loyally. Even, and maybe especially, these two yellow-bellied, lily-livered scaredy-cats. <laughs> you know, they've done a lot of crossovers together. They've done a lot of good crossovers, yeah. The recent one they did was pretty good. To find out who would win a death battle. Hmm, who would win a death battle? Throughout the ages, countless philosophers have posited the same question time and time again. scooby dooby doo where are you? Pretty much everywhere, from cartoons to comics, from video games to board games, from yeah, live yeah, theater Scooby to the has most incredible major motion picture he's of been all everywhere. time, he's the greatest Dane since Hamlet. Really? But his monumental that, that's the greatest one of all time. I mean, to be sure wrong. Origins. Born to Momsy and Dada Do in Doosville, <laughs> Momsy and Dada Do. Doosville ain't what it used to be ever since Doosville. Wow, the okay, sure. Yeah, why not? The young Scoobers was adopted by the Rogers family and their prodigal oh. gluttonous son, Norville, better known by his friends as Shaggy. Mm -hmm. Those friends Shaggy. being Velma Dinkley, Daphne mm -hmm. Blake, Fred yep. Jones, and sometimes... <laughs> With their powers combined, <laughs> Scrappy. they are... Who doesn't love Scrappy? Come on. Incorporated. A cadre of snot-nosed teenagers traveling the Nixon-era United States in a cushioned-up Volkswagen. <laughs> Nixon Foiling era. seemingly oh, that's paranormal a good one. crimes and unmasking corrupt authority figures. All of whom mm -hmm. so they did. would have gotten away with it, too, if it weren't for those meddling kids and their dog. Scooby yeah, is that line has been used for like the last 60 Great years, Danes and it still works today, surprisingly. German nobility to hunt bear, boar, and deer, which means mm -hmm. he's a master tracker. Scooby's super sniffer nose can root out the bad guys no matter how well I never knew what they kind of dog Scooby Tamaranda was specifically, but dogs, interesting. Because they stay in their prince's chambers and protect them from assassins. Oh, damn. Such brave, fearless okay. doggos. Okay. Too bad for Shaggy and the gang, the apple didn't just fall far from the tree. Yeah, I was going to say that. The laws of Newtonian physics and rocketed into space at the speed of light. Because Scooby <laughs> is an absolute coward. He's terrified oh, of yeah. his own shadow and constantly anxious about everything imaginable. Mm -hmm, and his that's only true. motivation is his delicious Scooby snacks. Which makes it so baffling that he's actually kind of a badass. Scooby's a master of the dupe, a classic technique of cartoon tricksters. Sometimes oh, called the okay, power of positive assertion. Scooby flexes his mastery Those of the cartoon skies to fool bending reality attackers. powers. Okay. Like seducing zombies as a belly dancer. Or tricking a jester into entering an existential crisis. This man was so thoroughly oh, wow. convinced to rethink Is that his what that entire show did? life. He went all the way home and got into bed before realizing he'd been fooled. Obviously, these oh. guys shouldn't work <laughs> at all, but Scooby is just so supernaturally talented, they just do. Uh, see, this is a perfect example. No one oh. in their right mind would oh. think that that's anyone but Boomstick in an awful wig and makeup. Maybe, maybe that's, that's oh. my mom. That's, a, that's Boomstick's mama. I'm sorry. If those disguises I mean, sound completely impossible, Apple really did not fall far from that tree. You might have thought of the Scooby-Doo series as being pretty grounded with all its men and masks, but then one day, the mask... Oh, yeah. That, that was a classic right. one. It's That's a good one. Mm -hmm. Zombie the Island. The monsters started being real, and Scooby became just as bonkers to match. Like, remember those Scooby snacks? They started to give him a physical boost in strength. Kind of like Popeye's spinach. I was going to say, like, straight, straight up Popeye, huh? His brilliant uncle, Albert Shackleford, upgraded those snacks with nano technology. He has giving them a uncle? variety of different effects. Everything from invisibility, Jesus. robotic armor, force field, super intelligence, and... Man, when did all this get put in for Scooby? Machines, dog, and we're just I do not remember any of this for Scooby. Scratch his body any way he likes, 
even duplicating himself or regenerating from damage. Like being chopped into pieces, crumbling into dust, or just blowing up. His soul was literally oh, okay, sure. scared yeah, out of his not? body. And both his body and soul kept going at the same time. That doesn't Yeesh. make sense. He can appear in multiple places at once. Does any of this make sense? The laws of gravity, rewind time with his time scepter or super speed, draw things into existence, and oh my mess God. with the plot of his own show. Things getting a little too spooky for him? It looks like some to commercial break. retconning fourth wall breaking like in the show in here. Immediate. A gun that instills fear into the hearts of man. And no, no, fear not gun. like an actual gun. It, it literally shoots fear. Or the so it's like a fear gun. of hmm. demons. An arc containing 13 monstrous ghosts. Oh, 13 ghosts, should wow. Should be trapped within its grasp, your body and soul will be imprisoned in everlasting torment in this heretofore Jeez. undiscovered 10th circle of hell. Neat. Scooby-Doo has dodged laser beams and electromagnetic waves, survived being at the epicenter of an explosion that blew up time, and successfully oh, performed the Zabrinsky Triangle with Shaggy and Maddie Ziegler. The Zabrinsky Triangle is a dance so unbelievably dangerous that even imperfect executions have caused widespread destruction. When performed is that so? It was okay, so well, beautiful you know. it literally Never do that dance. the entire universe and blew up the enormous snow globe containing it. It makes sense if you watch wow, the show. Wow, that's some... Actually... I'm sure no, it, it does. It doesn't. Taking this okay, literally... I'm sure it doesn't measure either. ...measure the volume of the broken glass compared to the size of our entire cosmos within it. In okay. order to shatter what is essentially an enormous glass superstructure, each dancer would have to be generating enough energy to destroy our universe 11 quintillion times over. Oh, wow. That's right. Maddie Ziegler is a universe buster. With Scooby Doo no, as their nine no, no kidding. mascot, Mystery Incorporated has saved the world. A yellow from lantern ring. Wielded Makes the sense. power of a yellow lantern ring and was even made a member of the Mystery Analysts of Gotham by Batman <laughs> himself. Yes? Batman, because why not? I mean, the same, they're both owned by Warner Brothers. Might as well use them for the same property. Save some time, save some money. Defeating the evil entity, an eldritch dark god and surviving its death, which rewrote all of reality. Yeah, Jeez. you know, the talking dog that crossed over with the Harlem Globetrotters and Don Knotts defeated Satan. No biggie. So, no, where no is kidding. Scooby Doo? He's solving mysteries and saving the world with his found family. Also, he's an alien. Wait, what? Of course, of course. That makes that makes more sense. We actually. interrupt this program to bring uh, you Courage, Courage, Cowardly the dog. Cowardly dog show. Good old class. Courage, the Cowardly Dog. Mm -hmm. Abandoned as a pup, he was found by Muriel, who yep. lives in the middle of nowhere the with song. her husband. Talk Eustace the theme song. Bag. But creepy stuff happens in nowhere. It's up to Courage to save this like new home. Oklahoma you nowhere. Wish you made me look bad. Oh, nowhere Oklahoma, Oklahoma proper. <laughs> You're breathing. Ooga, ooga, ooga. Get away. Sorry. But who wouldn't be excited for one of animation's oh mightiest mutts? Courage is an adorable pink beagle with a heart of gold mm -hmm. and an undying love for his I'm really Scottish interested in how they're going to find out with, what they're going to do with this. See, see, friends of Scooby-Doo, why would they fight? Spell. It's going to be an interesting thing on why Scooby and up. Courage are fighting. Which fits Courage to a T, especially the howling part. To be fair, mm. Courage has a lot to howl about. Nowhere mm -hmm. USA is a magnet for interdimensional weirdness, attracting some That's of the super weird place. freaks in the world. I would never like want to go master there. criminals, cats and laquack, mattress demons, mm -hmm. mummies, werewolves, mad scientists, mm -hmm. gods and goddesses, aliens. This is such robots, a freaky show back in the day. I can't. I miss it. I really do miss it. They don't make them like they used to. There's only a few nowadays that can really hit. I know them are like all of it. But his the devotion to Muriel means he'll always step up and fight the good fight. Mm -hmm. Good thing he's kind of a genius. He's a brilliant engineer. That is true. Of up the he most is so, of traps so, so smart. And he's no one ever talks about how smart Courage is. Tools at his disposal. Everything from his trusty mallets to grappling mm -hmm. hooks, ray guns, flamethrowers, chainsaws, bombs, beetles, he just has everything. cannons, yo yo yeah, Anything he needs, he just has in his back pocket. Vampire hunting gear and the god bow. An ancient God artifact bone. that is completely irresistible to any mortal dog, forcing them to lick it until they die. Oh. Except for courage, of course. Now I remember I this one. I remember that one. Oh my God, that freaked me out so monster, much. You can resist even the most delicious of treats. And he can pull all of this stuff out of his ass anytime he wants. He always he, has exactly what he Oh my God, that's so true. He all literally pulls it out of his ass. All computer named Computer. A sentient desktop which knows almost anything and everything. Even yep. if he has a bit of an attitude about it. 
which means he's always prepared, especially when he can shapeshift his body into literally anything he can think of. From inanimate objects to monsters to different animation mediums entirely. Courage usually uses this as a form of charades to communicate with others, but don't get it twisted. These aren't just visual animation gags. His body is actually shapeshifting. Courage's body is a canvas upon which his imagination... Here, here comes the math on how they explain how Courage does this. Crazy lengths, Toon Force, that's what it's called. Sizes, All that Toon Force crap. Anywhere he wants, or which I, in, in some himself. cases is cheating. It's very much cheating oh, in a fight, but pain, if they but can use it, F why not? Use your Toon Force. It. Like the times he tore himself in half or turned himself fully inside out. Ugh. The dude somehow mm. vaporized his entire body completely without even ash remaining, and he just popped back good as new. Classic cartoon shenanigans. Yeah, I mean, that's also what happens correct. with stress. It Until makes you it feel isn't. that way. Courage can create objects from his imagination and often breaks the fourth wall, directly mm -hmm. addressing the audience. Now, you that. would think being an impossible to kill force of nature would boost his confidence a bit, but isn't that what anxiety does to you? It undermines <laughs> your sense of self-worth and magnifies the problems around you. Sure, but courage is also fighting gods just as powerful as himself. Like that this enormous true. alien which could spike meteors so hard it spun the earth a thousand years into the future. That's crazy. Then courage got shot out oh, of a damn. cannon that punched him through the moon, only to get slapped by that same alien and sent crashing back to the planet. And he was fine. Jesus. Courage is strong enough to physically patch up holes in the ozone layer, hold stars in his hands, and scream so loud he shattered the sun. A yeah, I don't like see how Scooby's gonna like come out of this fight. Over 100 septillion hydrogen bombs septillion. All at once, which is, septillion. You know, a lot. And keep in I mind, didn't even know that was a word until right now. would have had to travel through the near vacuum of space. Basically a complete scientific impossibility. Next time you replace my beers in the fridge with LaCroix, I'm getting my boy Jack <laughs> Oh my god, LaCroix. Who, who, who remembers LaCroix back in the day? Well, not back in the day, like probably like four years, four or five years. That's not all. One time he operated a peloton controlling a UFO and pedaled it fast enough to fly past Saturn. And <laughs> yeah, now it's a peloton. Across the Milky Way galaxy. Though Courage's greatest challenge came from inside his very home. A monster oh, yeah. who tortures mm -hmm. his he poor boots every bad guy in this single show. day. Let's be a honest. depraved, psychotic motherfucker. The mm -hmm. true prince of darkness. The greatest S villain Speak in it, cartoon Broomstick. history. Speak it. Eustace. He even collected all of Courage's greatest foes <laughs> like a legion of doom. All to mercilessly beat Courage to a pulp in a game of dodgeball. Oh. He gives all rednecks a bad name, Wiz. I want to end him. Low. Okay, well, Courage's accumulated PTSD always held him back until he met a kindred spirit, another oh, yeah. cowardly monster-hunting hound, Scooby-Doo. Oh, yeah, I remember him. Together, they discovered <laughs> the source of nowhere's weirdness. They did? A dark matter oh, wow. meteor Spoilers, that controlled everybody. reality itself. Originally, oh, the wow. meteor that wiped out the dinosaurs, its dark matter can rewrite the laws of physics, control minds, huh. and turn Courage into a giant kaiju. Taking the meteor for himself, Courage finally faced his fears, defeating this wow. cicada queen goddess thing, and saving okay. his family once and for all. Yes, even Eustace. Who knew? Jack. So let that be a who lesson knew? to any who would encroach upon the bag's humble farm. It has a protector. He may be they small, got a and he may be scared, but standing up to our fears is what makes us brave in the first place. That's why That's true. his name is Courage. Before we get into this death battle, I oh man, I think I gotta go with Courage on this one. He just has a little more extra than Scooby does, especially when they're just explaining how Courage can literally tear himself apart without anything left and then come back out and how how you be. Plus, all the weapons that Courage can pull off his ass, that's that's it, that's done. Scooby will give him a good fight, but I think Courage comes out on top on this. No matter how they do this fight, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be some kind of thumb or tail fight sort of thing, whatever. But you know, let's see what happens. All right, here we go. It's time. Possibilities. It's time for oh, a dog, dog battle. A d God dog battle, yes. Like that, it sounds... Technically a dog battle, yeah. All right, let's see what we got here. Where are we? I gotta give, I gotta give these guys credit. The voice acting they do on this is very, very good. So good. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, hello. Wow, okay, okay, they upped up the animation in this one by a lot. 
Okay, so are they... Are they teaming up on this? I thought this was the versus. What's going on here? Oh. Wait, is this the... So this is a thumb war. There are... Wait, whoever loses have to fight him? Ooh, hey, he used the tail. Gotta use the advantage of the tail. Oh, okay, what? Ooh, ooh, he just shot his face off. Nope, oh, nope, there it is. Literally tore himself apart. So they're fighting while running away from a monster at the same time. Oh, the classic door bit. Oh, it is that time of year with the snowman. Oh, Godzilla, hey. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> I, can't, I couldn't see what that was. It was too fast. <laughs> oh, hello. I guess that didn't work. How to defeat a great day with a speech impediment, day? Twit. Oh, man. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's gonna, he's gonna kill them, too. Mm -hmm. uh, of course. Yep. Mm -hmm. That. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be the meteor that wins it for him. Oh, All that god love bone. their bones, don't mm -hmm. they? Ooh. Oh no, that didn't work. Oh no. My name is Chad James. It's not. Oh, oh. Oh, he just ate it. He just ate it. Oh, wow. He just became a literal god. This fight has gone wacko. Oh, his, his yell. What the, what the hell is this, man? What is going on here? <laughs> Breaking all... And how is this guy still alive? Oh. Stupid dogs, you made me look bad. What's her? Oh, wow. yeah, I mean, you can't deserve it. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, damn. Straight up murder him. <laughs> I guess so. What? I'm what? Happy as I am to avoid um, I guess it's a tie. Uh, we got another Deadpool Pinkie Pie situation here. It looks like it is, but cosmic feats, you'd think the Zabrinsky triangle would be enough to seal the deal. You but think most pooches could regenerate from basically any kind of physical damage. Both were incredibly mm -hmm. smart in different ways. Scooby was more of a trickster with his dupes, while Courage was a scheming genius. Computer could have given that Courage is a, the edge that is a good if point. not for their canon crossover, where it failed to have solid information on Scooby and the gang. So I guess it came down to their unique abilities. And for 90% you gotta think of if they never did that crossover, this fight might be different. Transmutation, mind control, you get it. They're tunes with basically anything except for the chest of demons and the dark matter meteor. Mm. Sure, the chest That's could true. theoretically always trap courage, but he'd always be able to escape and destroy it with the dark matter meteor. But Scooby yep. could repair the damage by reversing time and then trap him again. And then courage would break out again. You know, where this yeah, it's just an endless cycle this that no one would win. Man's best friends would never end. But this is a death mm. battle. Somebody has to die. Someone did win. Yeah, someone did die. Yeah. Technically, someone did someone die. Someone did. Did anybody tell you that you're kind of scary sometimes? <laughs> I don't like dog killers. Oh, wow. Look, Scooby look. and Courage were incredibly tough opponents that could go blow for blow for blow. Mm -hmm. They were smart, powerful, and incredibly broken. Doggone it, Wiz. I guess you could say Eustace had one hell of a rough day. I shit you not. 
<laughs> oh, those were powerful. Stop. Oh, you keep going. Yeah, this keep going. This battle is a draw. It's a draw. Yep. Hi, I'm uh, Ben, who's... Voice of Wiz. Thank you so much uh, yes, for you watching. Are. We are about to announce the next episode, but before we do that, if you're not mm. a Death Battle member yet, click that join button below. See what uh, you're who's missing. the next one? Who we got next on deck? Who is it? Ooh. Oh, no way. No. Oh, shit. Rick versus the Doctor. You know, I'm not really surprised by that result because they've done draws before in Death Battle. Like I said earlier, Deadpool versus King of No one won that fight. So, you know, I'm, I gotta give these guys credit. They always do the homework and research when they do these videos. So, I'm not surprised this one I didn't draw. Pretty fun and entertaining, though. Not gonna lie. But I'm looking forward to the next Death Battle. Wow. Rick versus Dark. It depends which Doctor Who are we gonna get. That's the question right here, I think. Also, there's only one and only Rick Sanchez, C-17, I think that's the correct term in his universe. But which Doctor Who are we getting? So looking forward to this. And again, let me know in the comments down below. Did they get this right? Is it a draw? Or do you guys think Courage is the one? Let me know in the comments down below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, all my handles be in the description for you as well. And as always, if you for love these gorgeous individuals, hit like, hit subscribe to my channel, Sam is here for more fun like this one. And until next time, bye!